guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to solve three simultaneous equations using the row reduction to add to form so as you can see we have our equation here f a f f1 minus f2 f3 and all this so let's dive into our solution we first write all these unknowns in matrix form as we can see i've already done that so next uh, row reduction is actually for those of you who don't know it, it's about creating or uh, eliminating uh, a lot of unknowns so that you remain with few of them for easy calculation or solving. So what we'll do is we will eliminate one unknown from this row. This will remain untouched. We'll eliminate one unknown here. Then in the next row, we'll eliminate two so that we remain with only one unknown for easy uh, calculation okay so let's get to that so you realize that if you want to eliminate if you want to like eliminating we'll create zeros here so if you want to create a zero here we'll subtract this row from this but this has a coefficient of two this has a coefficient of one that means we'll simply multiply with the coefficients here okay this is what we'll do one two 50. So, to create a zero here, I'll multiply this row by two and subtract it. Okay, so I have twice row one minus row two. Okay, so twice of this minus this we get a zero here. Twice of this minus this I get negative two minus one as negative three. Okay, and then this twice of this minus negative 1 so it will be positive 4 minus negative as positive 5 okay and this is 100 minus 10 that's 90 and here I'll have positive 1 and negative 1 so to create a zero here I'll just add the two so I have row 1 plus row 3 so 1 plus negative 1 that's 0 negative 1 positive 2 that's negative positive 1 2 and, and 1 that's a 3 50 and 60 that's that that's 50 and 6 that's 110 okay so in the first step we've eliminated uh, one one unknown from the last two rows okay so next step we have to eliminate one more unknown in the last row so that we remain with only one unknown to equate to this so let's do that so i have one i will write that i get one two this is my 50. so this will also remain unchanged zero negative three and five and nine. then this the one that we need to change so this time around we're not using the first row to subtract we'll use the immediate row that's the mid the middle row. yeah the middle one okay so what to we'll do looking at the coefficients here i'll have one and three so i'll multiply this by three and add to this okay so this is what i do so this means i have row two plus three row three okay so don't change the order here so i'll have um, on row two that is this row so i'll have three negative three plus one times three that is zero so this is zero and this is zero so i have row two are still now going to this this will be five plus three times three that's nine so five plus nine you get 14 then here we go to 90 plus 110 times three that's 310 yeah no 330 not 310 330 plus 50 that's plus 90 it is three times this plus this so this is 330 plus 9, that's 4. 
frank so right here we have almost finished we have only one unknown so what we'll do is just quit this to this this to this and this to this so i have 14 so this 14 corresponds to f3 okay so so this 14 here corresponds to f3 so i'll just quit so i have 14 f3 being equal to 4 for 20 so f3 gives me so i'll do that here divide by that's 30. then to this negative 3 f2 plus 5 that means f2 is equal to 5 3 minus 90 the whole thing out of 3 this gives me 5 into 30 minus 90 divided by 3 that is f2 let's get it so it's 5 5 into 30 minus 90 over 3 so it's 20 <coughs> so f2 is equal to so that means back to our first equation here we can get f1 here it's the same thing as here up so I'll get F1 minus F2 plus twice F3 equals to 50. So my F1 is equal to 50 plus F2 plus twice. No, no, minus twice F3, which is 50 plus F2 is 20 minus twice into this is 30 so this is 17 minus 6 you get 10 so you can see if we want to prove if we're right if you want to prove if you're right we can get one of the equations here up so here let's say f1 is 10 10 and then f2 was 20 that's 10 minus 20 that's negative 10 plus twice of 30 is 60 so negative 10 plus 60 that's 50 so this means that our solution is valid so guys if you like the video please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel thank you